Hey guys, we're back. Fred here at Batman Engineering, and we're on the second part of our bending moment diagram question. Okay, so I just resketched it up here, and I draw, drew a couple lines extending down. And in the next video, I'll I'll show you that, and we will actually draw the diagram. But this video, we're going to be deriving the equations for the different sections of the beam. Okay, so. What we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to split the beam up into different sections, okay? And how we're going to do that is it's gonna be based on the supports and based on the external loadings, okay? So, so wherever there's a loading or where there's a support, we're going to pretty much cut after that and, until we get to the end, okay? Luckily in this beam, we've, we've selected a fairly simple one. So we're only gonna have to cut before this load, so we're gonna have to cut in this section. And then as you can see, this load appears here. So we're gonna have to cut over here and that's it. Okay, so there's only gonna have to be two cuts where we're measuring the internal forces in the beam. And that's how we draw a bending moment diagram using equations, okay? So let's get started. Uh, I'm sure that'll make sense to you once we start actually solving it. Let's start with a section AB, all right? So we are going to start with section from zero, which X is greater than zero, okay? And it's less than two, so it's anywhere but before here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and draw a little bit of a, a shape here, okay? The little section of the beam that represents a beam that we've cut here, that right here. And we've just moved it down here and we're gonna represent it visually like this, okay? And I wrote the reactions that we saw from the last video here. So we have AY is 0 0.250 kilonewton and CY is 1.25 kilonewtons, okay? So, all right, well, what, what forces do we have in the, in the first section of the beam here? And, well, we really only have AY, right? So we have AY here, AY, we're gonna label that, okay? And whenever we cut a beam, okay, it's, it, it, it kind of, for lack of a better word, shows the internal forces of the beam, okay? So where we cut it here, we have shear, which is downwards, okay? So whenever we're working from the left side and we cut here, all right? Our shear for our sign convention is going to be down, okay, and our moment is going to be counterclockwise, okay? So that's just the sign convention, all right? If we were to do it from the other side, the directions would change for the shear in the moment, okay? And maybe we'll get to that in another video, but for now, always just follow the sign convention, okay? All right, so, well, what do we do here? Well, we're going to go from this point, from where we cut, okay, and we're going to take the forces in, in the y axis, okay, and we're also going to look at the moment from this point, okay? So let's start with the shear. So we're gonna write the forces in Y and we're gonna say that up is our positive direction. And we have a downward shear, okay? So we have negative V and we have an upward AY plus 0 0.250, okay? And that's equal to zero. So our shear is equal to 0 0.250 kilonewton, okay? So that was fairly straightforward. And that is the first formula that we needed to drive to draw our bending moment diagram. So that's gonna be for our shear force diagram from this, this section here when we draw it. You'll see that later. Let's take the moment now. Okay, and we're gonna say that the moment counterclockwise is positive. All right, and we have a counterclockwise moment here, right? So we're going to just call that M, okay? And we have AY here, and this distance here, okay, from where we started to where we cut, we're gonna call that X. That's of some variable distance, okay? That's just how we represent it when we're taking the internal forces here, okay? So, the force here, 0 0.250, okay, is multiplied by a distance X, because we're measuring it from here to get the moment, right? So the force times the perpendicular distance. So, and that is in the negative direction, okay? The clockwise direction. So we have 0 0.250 X, and that's equal to zero, okay? So, solving for M, our M is equal to 0 0.250 X kilonewton meters, okay? So, that is our first section of the beam done. Nice and simple, right? Okay, so now let's cut the beam over here, okay? And we're gonna cut it in between B and C, all right? And let's take a look at that, all right? So we are going to call that from, sorry, that's X to three, okay? So in between two and three, not including three meters, all right? And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here, all right? We're gonna draw it a little bit longer because 
we have to include a bit more. Okay, so we're gonna include this 0 0.250, okay? This is still x, our variable distance, okay? All right, we have our shear still, we have our moment, same. Okay, but now we have this load here, okay? How do we represent that when we're taking the internal forces, okay? So that's a good question. Now, we'll say that this point here is B, okay? We'll say that's B, this is A, and that's C, okay? That's not C, sorry, but that's somewhere over there is C, but I won't write that just so we don't confuse you. Okay, and we know that this distance is two meters, okay? This distance from here is two meters, all right? And this distance, okay, we don't know what that is because it's some variable distance on the beam, okay? But we can say that it is equal to x minus two, right? Because we have x and we know that this is two. So we're going to say that that's x minus two, okay? And in between x minus two, okay, we have a 1.5 kilonewton per meter force, okay? So, how we resolve that into a single force, right, is we multiply this by the distance, as we learned before with distributed loads. Okay, so it's going to be 1.5 kilonewton per meter times x minus 2 meters, okay? So that we're going to represent that as 1.5 times x minus 2, okay? And that acts at a distance of x minus 2 over 2, because it acts in the center of this section here. I'll just draw this section here, is where the distributed load is acting, okay? <coughs> so. Let's do exactly the same thing that we did in this question, okay? We're going to start with the shear, all right? So we're going to say that the up direction is positive, all right? And we have our negative shear. Now this time we also have our negative 1.5 times x minus two. Okay, and we still have the 0 0.250 up. So I'm just gonna write it down here. And that's all equal to zero, okay? And if we just go ahead and simplify that and just solve for V, we should get Okay, and that is kilonewton So I'll just give that a red box And let's just go ahead and quickly do the moment as well and we'll be done so Moment counterclockwise is positive, right? So we're starting from this point, right? The point that we cut, all right? And we have, we'll start with this force here, okay? So that's in the positive direction, okay? And we'll, we'll write our M first, all right? We have plus 1.5, okay? 0.5 times X minus two times the distance, right? And as we discussed before, the, the distance is this divided by two because it acts halfway. So that's going to be X minus two over two, okay? Perfect, and again, we have the same force over here, which is going in the clockwise direction, so that's negative, so we have 0.250x, and that's equal to zero. Okay, so if we go ahead and simplify this and solve for m, we are going to get 0 0.750 squared plus 3.25x minus three kilonewton meters, okay? All right, so well, what have we done here? Well, we've solved for all the equations that we need to draw our bending moment diagram in the next step, okay? And this is what you need to do every time you solve a bending moment diagram with equations. Now, if you go fast forward and look in our Strengths 2 playlist, you'll see a, a shortcut way of doing this, but it's important that you uh, learn how to do it this way first and then do the shortcut way later, okay? So come back for the next video and we are just gonna draw the bending moment diagram for you, okay? Thanks for watching. Thank you.